Hi, it's Eric from the Jennifer Sanchez team. We have a new foreclosed property that was assigned to us today and we wanted to share it with you. This is a severely damaged property and we wanted to point out a couple of things. Number one, uh, this is one of the reasons why the banks are motivated to do short sales so they don't have to deal with this. We're gonna, we have several contractors bidding this property and it's gonna cost the banks just a ton of money to get this in sellable condition. And number two, we wanted to point out the fact that although Arizona is an anti-deficiency state, uh, when you do this to your property, uh, they will come after you and, and your anti-deficiency protection is going to be non-existent. And number three, hopefully this is going to be part one of a two-part video. And uh, many of these banks are being responsible. They're fixing these properties up. Uh, they're doing uh, what they need to do to stabilize the neighborhoods. And so hopefully the part two of this video will be the property in its repaired state. Now to set the stage a little bit on this property, when we arrived, the neighbors came out and warned us that the uh, former owner uh, was seen running into the house with his truck, shooting it with a gun, attacking it with an axe, and uh, police have been called, and the police are actually, I guess, looking for him, but they have not yet apprehended him, uh, and he was also seen at the property since, so we were obviously a little leery as we were going through the property. That laying on the ground there is the porch support beam that was pulled out by the former owner's truck. You can see the garage smashed in, windows smashed in, and uh, those are bullet holes. Neighbors saw the former owner shooting the house, ran out of bullets and then started using an axe. rip the soffits off a lot of stucco damage looks like maybe there was a former Arizona room he destroyed more graffiti on the wall pulled another patio column down destroyed the water heater just a shame There's the uh, back patio column that was yanked down. Water heater smashed up. Carpets obviously destroyed, tile on the floors destroyed, even the fridge which he could have took is destroyed. Most of the drywall in the house is going to have to be changed. Granite countertop ripped up, appliances smashed in. More exterior damage. Here's some more photos that we took at the property. Some of the areas were a little dark for the flip video, so we went back and got some with the flash. You can see the extensive damage done to this poor property.